hello everyone we were uh, up to here uh, in the last time and this was our uh, output uh, at last time okay then let's see uh, the result now like uh, I I would like to uh, add some geojson file here so for that uh, I have um, loaded some geojson uh, data uh, in the same folder um, so this is the geojson data which can be visualized here but it is uh, too large file so in here it's written con country bulgaria ncd 28.5 and year is 2002 and so we these are the things we need like ncd year uh, in our in creating our uh, geojson um so we are heading uh to the writing of the code now uh, so for that we are going uh, in this line and we are using map on load function uh, so that um, it says that uh, the other things uh, will be loaded only after the loading of the base map um, is completed so what would we add uh, is a polygon layer uh, so map dot add layer mm, and the id will be just in cd and the type will be uh, fill because we want uh, filling of the geojson data uh, for example we want to add some uh, this country border and we want to fill in that area according to the data provided so after that the source source is the most important thing here so the source the type will be uh, our geojson and we have the data in the same folder so dot slash and the name of this uh, file is in cd.geojson i will copy this one and paste it here so comma uh, so I'm going to save it and see if uh, anything uh, happens so uh, because of this uh, geojson it is taking so much long time I am going to close it and again save it uh, and open with the live server maybe uh, here is again so we are going here and inspect the element and see the console so everything is fine up to now um, okay then mm, yeah we are uh, adding the paint function which is a map box function we can also see this uh, map box tutorial uh, in here so you can also uh, have th this link and see some of these steps uh, in the map box um, space time visualization so this is the map for the space time visualization yeah so you can also uh, have some look on this uh, so I will fill the color now uh, as a fill color and uh, the type will be interval so uh, property will be ncd so according to the value of the ncd in the geodation it will uh, have the color so it will uh, I will give some 
it stops for example if I give a value of 9.1 so until this the color will be um, I will choose this color or maybe uh, I will choose from here yeah okay and oh sorry control copy and paste it here okay so again uh, the color will I will uh, change it to 10.4 uh, so if for the equal interval you should have uh, some calculated value you can also use uh, ArcGIS uh, for that for the equal interval and I'm going to add this color I don't know this will work or not let's try mm, then I will just paste all these uh, things here just one two three four five okay then here i am going to write to 12.0 and 14.1 and here 20.1 and the color will be uh like this one here paste here is this color paste and the last one is this color copy and paste okay so uh, after saving this uh, again this happened so after saving this we are going to see uh if everything is okay uh i think the um, library load is not working so i'm going to close this code studio and again uh open that one sorry okay it's the index file and I'm going to save it save it and open in live server I hope uh, everything will be fine here let's see uh, okay yeah the mm, layer has been added now with uh, with this uh, code so uh, yeah then uh, we are add, going to add some uh, fill so that uh, there will be it will be uh, look uh, so good mm. So after that I am using fill outline color so for that uh, I am using I think this one is white color so let's see again in the uh, live server okay yeah there is some white uh, outline now so after that uh, I am going to use the fill opacity so okay here is comma fill opacity will be one and save it oh, sorry one and save it 
then we can again see okay ah uh, it's a uh, Uh, the field opacity will be 1 so uh, this uh, when I will try 0 let's see or uh, 0 0.5 let's see the difference yeah we can see the names under it when I use 0 0.5 so that opacity transparency will be changed uh, I'm going to use one and see again the result okay uh, so in this way we can add uh, our geotation layer into our map box so thank you for watching bye bye